Welcome to Spoken Reviews, home of the Spoken Reviews. Today, guys, we're going to have a quick review of Sling TV. All right, guys, so the big reason why I decided to get Sling TV was because my cable will get out of control. Once it got to 170, I was like, enough's enough. I'm done with you guys. Cut the cable. So I did, went ahead and cut the cable, kept the internet, and you can see here's the bill for just the internet. So it basically dropped 100 bucks. Uh, then I went ahead and got Sling, and Sling is 20 bucks. So with tax, I think it's around 22 bucks. So I've been paying 67 bucks uh, plus the 22 bucks. So making a huge savings on that was the big factor for me getting Sling. All right, guys, to uh, launch Sling, you're going to go into the app. Uh, here I have it on the Roku, so it's going to hit launch the Sling app, and then it'll pull up. Uh, I've had Sling for 13 months now, so I started Sling August 2015, and now it's September 2016. So for the last 13 months, I've cut my cable and I've been using Sling, and really good experiences. Uh, now let's walk through the menu. Now at the top, you're going to see my TV right here, and then you're going to be able to click to the On Now. And basically what this is going to do, this is going to allow you to see the different categories. So we have the sports, we have for kids, lifestyle, different shows that are on now, actions and adventures, comedy, drama, news, and then you can see everything that's on now. In addition to navigating from this way, you can actually go to the guide, which is kind of what I normally use to find my shows. So here are all the channels that are included. You can see... Uh, not only do you have the channel and what's scheduled by time, but you also have the content that you can stream. So these aren't live. These are basically things that you can stream. So like, for example, on ESPN, I can go and watch uh, ESPN um, uh, films. I can, you know, see any of these episodes. So there's plenty of content. You just click it, hit watch and it loads fairly fast. Uh, depending on your internet speed, uh, it's gonna really affect it, but this is just a real life test, so we're gonna see how fast this comes up and shows. But uh, it's, it's really nice and cool, and you can see how on the bottom, you, do, you can see the full time of this, so pretty fast, uh, maybe 30 seconds to load. Uh, and you do kinda have the little DVR functionality Down here too so you can you can actually fast forward through here which is really cool or pause so that's another little plus so we're gonna go back okay so after the guide well as you can see all the different channels so ESPN 1 2 & 3 uh, TNT TBS Comedy Central a &E, IFC uh, HDTV and all these load super fast and all these have the scheduled by time and also the available content. So here we have HDTV, runs nice and smooth. Um, and it's, it's, it's been, there have been some really good improvements. So when I first got Sling, there were some glitches, but they've had several updates to the uh, system. And now I can say generally it does run fairly smooth. Um, and here are all the other channels that, that do come with it. So a lot of good options. Um, especially people who don't watch a ton of TV, who just want access to other things. Uh, the other category is going to be sports. So you can see, you do have the option to see, we have the football games going on, baseball, soccer, tennis, rugby, cycling. So really good format. They've made some huge improvements uh, with the layout. Uh, over here we have the movies. So you can see the different movie collections. So these are pretty nice to see. Uh, and with these, the movies, you can actually buy them. So, for example, Captain America Civil War, you can get for $5.99 or $4.99. Uh, so, definitely good content. And there is a really cool search feature here, too. So, if I wanted to search, uh, for example, I will search for Marvel. And we will see what comes up. So you can see 
uh, you do have the different Marvel movies that come up too. So that's really cool. And also when you go to settings, you can see the different setting options. Um, the connection speed allowed is where you can make some adjustments too. So here I have it on low, but I'm gonna go ahead and move it up to medium quality. And that way that should help out with the, the stream quality. But you have to realize that this is gonna affect the amount of data that you are using. Um, and then you have the device support, which is really nice and all the different features. So overall, I would say they've made some drastic improvements. Um, the service is super easy to use. Um, there are no real hiccups and I really do enjoy it. So Sling always runs some really cool promotions and here are a couple of the ones. Now I've personally done the promotion with the free Roku too. So you prepay for three months, so 60 bucks, and I got the free Roku too. Now what I'll probably do is I'll probably cancel my service and sign up for it again so I can get that Apple TV for 90 bucks because that's going to be a really great value and I'm really interested in getting the Apple TV. Now here's a list of devices that Sling TV works with. As you can see, they've expanded and there's a ton of devices it works with. Now here's the base package that you can see that Sling offers. They call this Sling Orange. There are 25 channels with this package and this is the one that I use. Uh, it's more than enough for me. Uh, it's probably the most popular package. Now here we have Sling Blue, which is 25 bucks. Um, the big thing for me was this one didn't have the ESPN, so it was no go for me. Now for 40 bucks, you can get the comp combined Sling Blue and Sling Orange, which is a good value for some people. Uh, for me specifically, it was a little overkill, but this is definitely a great option for people, and they should look into it if they do think that they want all of these channels. Overall, guys, Sling TV is a great option for a lot of people who have the flexibility, um, who don't want to be tied down to a cable company and a contract, who just want to go month to month and have the flexibility of, of having something like Sling TV to be able to pick your own packages, you know, pay for the content that you want to watch. Uh, like I said, for me, for the last year, it's been fantastic. I've told plenty of my friends about this. I tell my coworkers about this. And I've probably, you know, gotten 10 or 15 people to try it out and they've really you know love it and enjoy it anyways guys hopefully you like this video if you did hit the like button for me if you have any questions comments please leave them below if you want to see more videos like this go ahead and sub the channel guys thanks a lot and have a great day